Last thing I want to ask you, Dane, obviously I wasn't here last week. It was a kind of a crazy week, right, with all the COVID tests and everything. Mm -hmm. um, I mean, clearly I've seen this thing from the start. You guys have got a lot of controls in place. But do you start getting a little nervous when you have that many positives and you're getting these, like, day of removals? I mean, does that, does that raise red flags or concern you at all? Nah. Let's look, at, look at the history here. Look at what we've done. Look at how it's all worked out. Um, you know, one of the things that we're not doing that the other sports are doing is there's people that keep testing positive, right? Positive, 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 but they're not, they, they, you know, they have no symptoms and they're not contagious. They're letting those guys play. You know, if it's in the NBA or, or, or Major League Baseball, we're not. So, I mean, that's the difference. And, we, you know, I think we just had a situation last week where they tested negative, negative, then tested positive. So, it's just, this thing's fucking wacky and, and you know. Do the best you can, and you know we're doing everything the right way. It just who knows with this thing, man. Nobody's got this whole thing figured out yet, but you know we we've been uh, we've been solid. Think about me. I'm in there. I shake their hands. I do all this other stuff, and I haven't had COVID. Hey, Dana. anybody asked you not to do that? Has anybody said, Dana, could you not shake hands with everybody? I'll, I will shake people's hands till the day I die. Hey, Dana. Yep. Um, at this point, you've basically become sort of a scientific example of what COVID can do. You guys have tested so many people, you have so many results. Are you ever considering letting those findings be public about how many people test fake positive, how many people get it again? Do you ever think about sharing those findings? Yeah, I think, that, you know, listen, if anybody ever reached out to us and wanted that information, we would absolutely give it to them. I, I, I think uh, we're going back, back to, uh, to Abu Dhabi. We'll have five straight, straight weeks there. And it, by the time we wrap up the end of this year, by January, we should have a really good, you know, database on, on, on how this whole thing played out and could probably put together something cool that we could give to other people or write a story about or yeah. something like that. Hey, sports fans. If you want to see more videos like this, check out some of our other ones right here. And if you like what you see, make sure to hit the subscribe button and stay tuned for more from USA Today Sports.